Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Group Office, a collaboration suite, and Docker. To get started, connect to the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll start by installing a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and app repository. Followed by apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Container D. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the Docker group. Then reauthenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start running containers. We'll start by creating a working directory structure for our containers to use for persistent data. Then we'll create a config.php file and set ownership on the working directories we just created. Then using chmod, we'll allow the containers to write to the working directories. We'll create a new Docker network called containers. Then using the docker run command, we'll create a MariaDB database container. Followed by a second docker run command, create the group office container. With both containers running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 9000. Click continue on the welcome screen, then continue again on the prerequisite check. Complete the form to create an administrator account, filling in the email, username, and password fields, then click install. Once the installation completes, click Continue. Then log in using the administrator credentials you created just a moment ago. If you're prompted to change your password, enter and confirm a new password, then click Next. Welcome to the Group Office Collaboration Suite, running containerized in Docker. 